is up everybody we are back again with a normal trucking vlog because this is what you guys like we just got my old trailer 320 and we are gonna go to kentucky for a three o'clock in the morning drop and then we gotta go down to old north carolina so there's gonna be some pretty scenery on the way down there especially with the way the season's changing and going right now there's old man phil So I had a feeling I was a little bit heavy. You see my gauge, where is it? Right there. So if it's at the 55 mark, I'm at 34,000 pounds on my drives. And lo and behold, this is where we're at. 3480 on the drives, trailer 33960, and gross is 79260. Now, because my truck's so long and my fifth wheel is welded in place, I can't move it. I can't transfer any weight to the front axle to get all the way up to 80 so I gotta play a fuel game so right now I've got half a tank in that side flip that switch and it goes to the other side and I got half in there so for this trip I've got to keep both tanks at half tanks so that way I'm wiggle and I'm all good and gotta do no craziness so we're good to go let's all right, ride all right all right
uh, sometime in June. Uh, I am taking the truck over to Evans Detailing and Polishing, where he is going to polish all the chrome. He is the best in the business. So we're going to have him do that, and then I'm taking it over, guy, over to another guy, Dan, who is the one that did my boss's truck, that KW. He uh, paint corrected it and uh, put ceramic coating on it, so he's going to paint correct mine and then also seal it. So the truck is going to look like a show truck now. I mean, it's going to look insane. The paint is going to be just nothing but mirror gloss and then tanks and wheels and everything's going to be absolutely perfect so i'm rather excited for that but time to lay back relax and get her on down the road come on all right just look the truck over we're down here in indiana now i'm gonna go in here get me some country pride get a little something to eat at the bathroom and then look up where these places are and see exactly what we're dealing with we had a lot of traffic there in Chicago. All oh, the outskirts of it. It sucked, but get in here and show you guys what I'm going to be looking at. Yeah, they've got a decent setup here. Look at this drawer zone. Oh, I love TA, but also look at this, what I just seen. Choking on ice. So, got a good old surfing turf. So, let's look up where we're going now. Oh, that team of beard. All right. The first one, Frankfort, Kentucky. So, let's see exactly where we're going here. Two hundred and forty-three miles away, and five hours still. So I probably shouldn't have stopped. <laughs> All right, so. Head south toward Indiana Ten West. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Let's go look at what this place looks like. And my phone jacked up. Golly day. Yeah, guys, I got the uh, Twelve Pro Max recently when I was home. And I had 5G full bars and had to connect to freaking Wi-Fi at a place. Okay, this is going to be easy peasy. Yeah, all right, guys, look at this. So, come in this road, come in, probably go around the back. Not exactly sure. I don't even know if that was pointing at it, but you guys get the gist. So, let's go look up the other ones. See if we're going to be getting ourselves into any kind of craziness or something like that. That's in Mount Sterling, Kentucky. Alright, that's going to be another easy one. It's a Nestle place, so it's big. Right there. Bam. Alright, now let's look up. Oh, it's a Chinese Brothers. This is the last one down there in North Carolina. Let's see how far away it is, though. So let's do... Alright, so let's do that, and let's do it from the last place that we're going to. Which would be the Mount Sterling. Okay, so once we get all done tomorrow, we're gonna go this way. Me and Jerry already talked about it. It's right above Charlotte, North Carolina. So this is the way we're gonna go to get there. We're gonna go over 75, drop down 40, and then come across there. Be the easiest way and won't be in the mountains too much. And that'll be about seven hour ride, so it'll be kind of interesting to know. So, I'm gonna eat some dinner. We're gonna get back on the road. Oh, I gotta figure out where to get fuel, too. So, we burned about a quarter tank on one side and like an eighth of tank on the other. So, we're under half. So, I gotta run that down to about empty. And then I gotta get fuel, put it back up to half. And so, the reason I'm doing that is because your fuel weighs a lot. 
and you got to play a fuel game or else we'll be overweight so i got to keep it at the half tank area so that way everything's good everything stays legal and we're not running overweight i'm about to eat this meal and put the drives over or the steers overweight though but <laughs> all right catch you in a bit i don't care what anybody says country proud got the best food
No parking, no parking. Not looking good for us, boys, girls. I don't see why I couldn't pull behind those trailers right there. No outlet. said just park down here so this is what I'm gonna do y'all watch this I'm gonna show you how it's done we're gonna back right down there in front of that grass patch
attempt to not go off the road here. I can park right here and no one's gonna bother me. But this to me is just sketchy. Here's single line underglow. I don't like it at all. I gotta have mine on the outside. This is my old trailer. Guy seen mine, wanted it. Oh, yeah. oh golly day. Bye. I just got it all done. Uh, they unloaded me pretty quick. It wasn't too bad. Uh, checked in at two. On the dock by three. Out by 3:24. So now we got to go to Mount Sterling. So let's see where the heck is that? Is that? All right, it's one hour away, and it is right. Okay, okay. There's a rest area right up the way. I'm gonna go up here to the highway and head over there. So this cowboy's gonna do. And I'm gonna go to sleep till like nine o'clock. Yep. That's what I'm gonna do. Alright, let's go. I 
guys ain't got it in me. Dang, that was a good spot too. I probably could have done it. Okay, shut up. Let's hope. Let's hope that some miraculous way somebody has left here. Okay, okay, okay. Well, boys, not looking good for old high strung here. Nope, not at all. truck stop 
here in the middle of nowhere. I got biscuits and gravy with bacon. Let's see how it turned out. Okay. Okay, the visual's good. No silverware. Look at that. Oh yeah, baby, come on. All right, let's do, a, let's do a little hit test here. Gravy's fire. Biscuits are soft. Bacon. Mmm. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. This is gonna get me where I need to be. I'm gonna eat breakfast, hang out for a little bit, and we're gonna get on down here see if we can't knock this off early so we can get heading down to North Carolina. All right, guys, we just got here to our second drop. We gotta get to our 13. It's a little bit funky. Ain't got a whole lot of room here, but we should be able to knock it out rather simply. We got enough room right there on that corner. So what we're gonna do is get this some um, gun set up on over this way. All right, so it is gonna be real funky because it's gonna be blind off this trailer. It's probably gonna take me a couple hits get my angle right but what I'm gonna do I gotta let air out of the seat so I'm not bouncing around so we're gonna alright let's get her kicked right past that trailer and run the truck right up this side Inside the trailer. So what I'm gonna do is get pulled up here, get straight with the door, put my bills in, back up, and get her done. And then I gotta tell you guys about the Esker Smart Wallet. I'm in love with this thing. It's my favorite wallet in the world now. But let me get this done, and I'll tell you guys about that. All right, everybody, it's time for me to show you my extra wallet. I absolutely love this thing. It's aluminum, it's light, it's super, super slim, it's minimalistic, and I absolutely love it. So it's a smart wallet. That means it comes with this little chip right here. This chip allows you to track it anywhere in the world. So, solar powered, put it in the sun for two hours, throw it up in your dash, throw it in your seat when you have the windows down. Two hours of sunlight gives it three months of charge. Cool thing about it, is okay so you're at home you lose your phone double click the button 
and it starts ringing your phone. So, let's go into there. Stop ringing. Other way around, you lose your wallet, right? So, you just go into the app, click on your wallet, hit ring to find, and it starts ringing and helps you find it. It also comes in this beautiful packaging. I absolutely love it. I'm real big on packaging and stuff, especially like the unboxing part. And whenever I unboxed it, I was like, this is just absolutely gorgeous. It's like so professional, so beautiful. And I just tell you, it's awesome. They also have a leather version, which is like kind of like an open up where you can put more cards and stuff in there. And they are both, this one and the leather one are both RFID blocking, so no one can just walk by and like swipe your cards of all the information or anything like that. And it's, I just, I love it. They also have a band on the back here. That's where you put all your money. But yeah, just look at this. Just look how smooth this is. Are you ready? Bam, just like that. And you got your cards. I absolutely love this thing. I couldn't live without it. I could never go back to a normal fat leather wallet that hurts your back when you sit on it and everything else and your pockets are all bulging out could never do it so be a link down in the description below i highly suggest you go check them out you'll never go back to a traditional wallet again after you have it even places that aren't tight are still tight sometimes i should have grabbed a camera and showed you guys a little roundabout i just had to get through but uh, there's people watching me and, and I don't know if they'd like it if I was recording, so. Now we get up out of here and then we're heading to North Carolina. Come out. Yes, sir. Better get that knocked off tomorrow. So we're going to go ahead and get down there tonight. All right, so there's been a little bit of change in plans. Actually, I'm going to put my camera on my head so you guys can uh, see this beautiful view I'm rolling through. the job done which is no big deal because I really wanted to stop and hang out with this person anyway so I'm gonna roll on in there and then in the morning I gotta leave at four in the morning because it's three and a half hours away you throw the hills of North Carolina in there and it's gonna be a little bit longer so eight o'clock appointment I'm gonna leave at four o'clock wake up 345 leave at four be rolling heavy south down 40 Get over there, get dropped off, do my pickup, and head back north as much as I can and uh, see what happens. So, well, that'll be that. But it sure is pretty around here. Truck's doing good. Everything's staying nice and cool. It's a beautiful 78 degrees.
right pit pole, right around the Curry exit. going on everybody gotta update you so I totally lost it yesterday totally forgot I was recording uh, I got there on time and it was a shit show that's all I can say it's absolute shit show 
Uh, I got there at eight. My appointment was eight. They didn't get me in a door till like 10 and I was there till like six. So my TV wouldn't work. Dude, I was livid, livid. It was a horrible day. Totally forgot to record, forgot an outro, forgot absolutely everything. But finally got it done and I couldn't reload. So I had to go and park for the night. So sat all day, then had to sit all night. And now, and then I went and got loaded and now i'm almost back to wisconsin and i'm going to attempt to edit this video out because i just haven't been in the mood with you know still trying to get over all the things at home and all that so now we're here and i'm gonna do the outro which is this right now golly day and uh keep it going so don't forget check out the esker wallet link is down there in the description below We've got new merch coming out. We got the merch, bunkerbranding.com. Just look up Life Behind the Wheel. Don't forget, hit that subscribe button. We're trying to get to that 100K. And we'll see you on the next one. Come on.